Hey guys, so I'm about to head out, but I thought before I did, I would try and film a what's in my bag video because a lot of people have been requesting it, and also I think it's been a few years since my last one. So, unfortunately for you guys, the bag that I happen to be using right now is a little bit played out here on YouTube. I have the Rebecca Minkoff 5-Zip Mini, and actually not many people have the 5-Zip, but I know tons of people do videos on the Mini Mac. Now, I do have one of the Mini Mac. I don't like it as much as the 5-Zip. I think the 5-Zip is just a little bit easier to use and I like that it looks a little bit edgier so this is my kind of small bag of choice I have about five of these now which is kind of obsessive and I also have one of the mini Mac and one of the regular Mac but the five zip is definitely my favorite now this is one of the newer ones so it actually only has four zippers even though it's still called the five zip but the original ones that I fell in love with actually did have five zippers three of them were functional so this is what the new one looks like. There's no zipper in the back, which is what the old one had that I loved because the back zipper is good for if you want to keep cash or something like that back there. That way it's close to your body, but I don't know. They wanted to change it, I guess. So the bottom two zippers are, they zip, but they don't have any pockets or anything like that. It's mostly just for show. The top pocket does hold stuff, which I love this top pocket here. And then the inside is just a regular bag. There's no pockets in there. So... I'm just going to go over what I have in this bag and there's honestly not that much if you watch my older what's in my bag videos you know that I used to keep so much stuff in there like planners and things like that but before I used to pretty much only have one or two purses that I would use and wear with everything and now I find that I change my purse almost every day which is kind of terrible but I don't know sometimes you need to wear different purses with different outfits or if you're doing different things so I do change my purse pretty frequently now that I don't keep as much stuff in there so the first thing that I have in here is my wallet I always have to carry a wallet obviously and this one I don't think you guys have seen before it's from Tory Burch and I absolutely love it I don't see it on the website anymore but I was recently at Century City Mall at the Tory Burch there and they did have these in store so if you are interested in something like this you may be able to find it at a location but not online so the style of this is a French wallet if you're wondering. It's got a little button right here that closes it and then inside it has all of the slots for your cards and then a place for cash and then two little pockets under here. I also have a little zipper in the back for change which I do keep change and cash on me all the time. I know a lot of my friends never bring cash and who do you think ends up having to give the cash when we go to a place that doesn't accept anything other than cash? This girl. So it's very important to always keep cash on you because there are some places that don't accept cards for whatever reason or they will only accept cards over a certain balance so like if you if your total is like over this amount you can use a card but I always keep cash on me and I think also it's a lot easier I'm not trying to put a dollar fifty on my debit card or whatever so anyway I don't keep a ton of stuff like I said in this one because it's so small but if I carry a larger purse I will sometimes carry two wallets I'll carry my regular big Louis Vuitton one for all of my store cards and loyalty cards and stuff like that but for the most part this is really all that I need I have my keys which you guys have seen this before I have the same keychain thing forever um, in here I keep again a little bit of cash just in case I want to go run out with just this and then my apartment swipe key thing I've got a little Connecticut keychain because if you didn't know I'm from Connecticut and then Hello Kitty this is still the same one and um, a bunch of loyalty cards for grocery stores, Petco, PetSmart. Um, I still have some old ones on here. We don't have Stop and Shop out here, but a CVS, stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. I honestly don't usually have this in my purse unless I'm out somewhere. When I'm at home, I leave it on the counter. That way I can remember to take it because since I'm changing purses all the time, I really don't want to lock myself out of the apartment. It has happened before, so... I just keep it on the counter that way I have to look at it before I leave the house so there's that I also have my phone in here I just have the iPhone 4s and I don't have many receipts in here right now but normally I do have a bunch of receipts this is just the CVS extra bucks so gotta remember to use that and that's all I have in the main compartment like I said oh actually no I have this this is the Bath and Body Works winter candy apple pocket back antibacterial gel this is my favorite scent any holiday apple one that they come out with always smells so good um, I usually keep a lotion in my purse but I lost it so I don't have one right now but I do like to carry a lotion in my purse and I should really carry a pen but I don't have one in there either terrible so then I'm gonna go into the next pocket which is where I keep all of my 
makeup stuff, I guess, if you will. I don't actually carry makeup makeup with me. I don't even carry a powder, but I do carry a ton of lip stuff and a couple other things. So I have a little mirror. Again, like I said, I don't carry a powder with me, but I do want to have a mirror on hand. This is just a little Chanel mirror that I ordered from their website. So if you wanted to get something like this, it's only available online, I think. So that's what that looks like. It's just a double-sided mirror. It's got a magnifying side and a regular side, and I keep it in the little pouch so I don't get it scratched. But I like carrying this. I guess it's, I mean, I think it's a little bit thinner than a compact, but... I don't think it would hurt you to carry a compact in here if you wanted to, but I just, I don't know, I didn't want to carry like a brush and a powder and this and that and worry about it breaking, and I don't really touch up my makeup, so I just keep the mirror. The next thing I always have to have with me, these are the clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. Like I said, I don't carry a powder, but I do have to have these on me all the time because I oil blot throughout the day. I don't really touch up my makeup other than this. I absolutely love these. I don't like to get the rice paper ones. I don't feel like they work quite as well. But if you're not familiar with these, they're just kind of this blue plastic, and when you blot the oil, they turn kind of like clearish, which is kind of gross, but I feel like these work so well. So I always have that in my purse. And then the rest is mostly lip stuff. If you have ever looked through my purse or... I don't know, I guess if you knew me in real life, you know that I always have like at least 10 lip things with me. Right now I'm doing pretty good though. I only have the ones that I've been wearing most frequently and then the ones that I wore yesterday. So first thing, actually I'll just get this out of the way. This is the Revlon Lash Glue. This is my favorite lash glue. I can't use ones that have latex in them anymore, so this is the best one that's non-latex that I found. So I always keep that in my purse just because, I don't know, I don't want my lashes to come off. Now for all of the lip products. The first thing is this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner and this is in 03 Nude. This is my favorite lip liner right now. I am wearing it today. It just goes so well with pretty much every lipstick that I have so I've been really really loving this and it's under five dollars at the drugstore so I love that. And then the next lipsticks and glosses are pretty much all from MAC except for one Dior. I've been on a real MAC lipstick kick lately. I don't know if you guys had noticed in my last hits and misses, but I've just been obsessed with a couple of colors. So I'll go over the lipsticks first. The three lipsticks that I have in here are Cherish, Honey Love, and Flesh Pot. They're all kind of nude type colors, which is what I like. So that's what they look like. I'm actually wearing, what am I wearing today? Oh no, I'm not wearing one of these today, but these are lipsticks that I kind of interchange throughout the day. And then I've got a couple of lip glosses. This one is the Stay Sweet lip gloss from the Archie's Girl collection. I don't normally have this in my purse, but I did try to wear it yesterday, so that's why it's in there. But the two lip glosses that I've been keeping with me pretty much all the time are Good Times from MAC, that's what I'm wearing today, and also Angel from MAC because I've been wearing this over Flesh Pop. So I love those two. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing today underneath the Good Times lip gloss is this one from Dior. This is my first Dior Addict lipstick, and this is number 214 Tool. And I really, really like this. These feel really nice, and I wanted to try it basically because Lisa Lisa Du One had it, and she really liked it. And I hear a lot of good things about these. So far, I really like this. It feels very nice, like a lip balm. It's moisturizing and smooth and all of that. I don't know if I'd purchase it again because it is pretty expensive, but I'll talk to you a little bit more about this in my Hits and Misses video. So that is everything that I keep in my bag. And I'm sure you guys have seen this in Instagram pictures and stuff like that. I'm thinking about doing a blog post kind of a little bit more in detail showing you all of the ways that you can wear it and all of that because I do think that this is a really great bag and I don't think it's a bad price for what it is. I do change my bag pretty much every day so if you know of a bag that I have that you're interested in seeing what I would carry in it or what it can hold just let me know in the comment section below and I will try and do something like that. I would like to do a video on kind of like what I carry in a larger bag just because it's obviously going to be a little bit different than what I can carry in this. So I think I'm going to title this like my what's in my bag small edition or something like that. So like I said, if you know of a bag that I have, I know a lot of people had wanted to see what could fit in some of my Chanel bags and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I will talk to you later.